What's going to happen to me today? Well, you're going to get a little taste, so to speak, of what it's like to be a septic tank technician. Uh, how big is the average septic tank? About a thousand gallons. And how often are they uh, emptied? Uh, the state requires a minimum of every three years. Is it just toilet stuff or is it refuse? It's everything? Well, ideally, it, if you didn't eat it, you shouldn't flush it. But there's a lot of non-biodegradable materials that go in that makes our jobs less ideal. You know what else I like less? It's, uh, it's nice and warm today and humid. Mm -hmm. It's a good day for... It enhances the aroma. It's a fairly simple procedure that takes a lot of hose and a strong stomach. Oh, God. Oh. Les, that's not good. This is a pretty one. Pretty? That's Looks just the way it's supposed to. Looks like there's good bacterial growth in there. That's good growth? It smells like it's operating. Oh, God. How deep is that? Uh, about four feet deep. Uh-huh. So we're going to literally pull how many gallons out of here? A thousand. This is a thousand gallon tank here. A thousand gallons of septic sludge pumped through 200 feet of interconnected hose. What the hell is this? It's a turd herder. A turd hurdler? You know you're doing it right when you feel that rocking sound. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting the way the fluid just flies right out of the top there. And this is just to what, keep the flow? Uh, keep things agitated so you're doing a better job of cleaning. There's a heavy layer of sludge on the bottom Ugh. that you want to get suspended. Yeah, you got to suspend the sludge. Oh, well, a little piece of something just flew right by my ear. And you have to remember to keep your mouth closed when yeah, you're Yeah, I know. <coughs> you try to keep the hose up to the top of the liquid level so that oh. it's getting all of the floatable solids out of there. That's what can get out and clog the drain field. So oh, man, because if we clog the drain field, then Somebody would have to go in then there you and have to go in the tank. That's right. Well, that's you know. not going to happen. Well, you won't have to go to the fitness center tonight. No, I'll just have to you go straight to the emergency room. Right. Well, I think you're kind of a natural at this, actually. Thanks. Six years of college. Yeah? It's all coming together for me. Ah, somebody's eating their fiber. Well, it's a lot cleaner than it was, Les, but I, uh, I wouldn't want to eat off it. Now what? The next part is to inspect. If you want to hold the mirror there. Sure. And we're going to be looking at the other end of the tank, about eight feet away. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I see a uh, piece of white uh -huh. PVC. Yep. That's the outlet baffle. Well, to be honest with you, it's kind of off-white. Mm -hmm. And it's looking good. Uh -huh. And we're just looking to make sure there aren't any big cracks or anything or any roots coming in. And no, I think the big cracks already did their work here. 